So for me, this is inevitable. It is happening at some point, and I personally think that 10th edition is going to be the edition that we will finally see the Emperor's children get their long-needed love. And I also think that we will potentially see, of course, Fulgrim returning with the Emperor's children. It all makes sense now, because if we look at all the releases that these Chaos Factions have got, Death Guard with Mortarian, Thousand Sons with Magnus, um, the World Eaters potentially with Angron, it... It, it makes sense. So let's just jump in. Let's talk about this, how it could happen, um, when it could happen, like I mentioned with 10th edition, um, and what models could they potentially be bringing back. Also, let's discuss some rumors that I've heard attached to this. Again, these are just rumors. Take them as rumors and not facts. Now, I just want to say, because I'm sure some people are going to mention this in the comic section, why are you already talking about 10th edition Valrak? Well, I personally think 10th edition is about 1.5 years away. They have a, a cycle now um, with these editions where it's between three to four years, more or less like three and a half years or something like that. And we're creeping up to that point where it is time for a new edition. I'm sure people will complain it's, it's not long enough, but if you look back at the other editions, 9, 8, um, this is the time scale that we've had. So I think they're, they're on track um, with that time scale. I will add though, maybe they will put some more time onto it because of course with covid and all the delays and everything like that apparently they do have a backlog of stuff so maybe 10 edition will come out later um, than expected um, on their release schedule now let's of course start with the rumors that i've personally heard and i've heard that empress children um, are somewhat coming uh, when i say somewhat coming i haven't heard hard evidence from a source who I, I normally trust, but I have heard whispers from other individuals stating that that line is is currently being made and um, it, is, it is basically a go, it's a green light. But when you look at it logically, I think anyone could come up with that conclusion. As I mentioned before, with the chaos races that we've already had, chaos races, the actual chaos armies have already had dedicated to the gods, the Nurgle, the Thousand Sons, the upcoming World Eaters, they've all got their love now. So it only makes sense for the Empress children to also receive that love. If anything, I'm actually kind of surprised World Eaters came before the Empress children. Because leading up to wherever we are right now in the law, it was basically Emperor's children being teased. Uh, the Phoenician was coming back with something that was in the Psychic Awakening books. A giant snake figure was witnessed and it, it was all like uh, retconned by the Inquisition in the Gathering Storm books. You know, this serpent tearing apart planets and stuff. It was bang on that Fulgrim was already back. Fulgrim was already doing things and they were teasing it in the law but now instead we're actually getting the world eater book before the empress children book maybe they have bigger plans with the empress children maybe a bigger range release maybe bigger things actually in the law to do with fulgrim and his sons because i've always stated it was technically the empress children or should i say fulgrim that kind of caused the downfall of the imperium now, I'm sure a lot of people are like, what are you on about, Valrak? You know, it's, you know, the Emperor went away. He went on the Golden Throne and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, that did happen. But we had someone in charge. We had Rebooty Gilliman in charge. He was he was basically doing all the um, all the paperwork and, you know, make sure no one stepped out of line. Then he went to face Fulgrim. Fulgrim slit his throat and he was put in this stasis for the past, you know, how many thousands of years? And since we never had that figure at the top to lead us, corruption took over, you know, people, you know, wanting their own type of power. Basically, Fulgrim doing his actions against Gilliman caused the Imperium that we know, or should I say what, what it is now, to become what it is. You know, just this trash place of individuals backstabbing each other for a little tiny taste of power. When it comes to 10th edition as a whole, there's a lot of rumors about it at the moment. I'm sure 99.9% .9 of these rumors are absolute BS. Um, as I stated the other day in my Vulcan video, you know, I've, I've been hearing like the lion is returning. Um, we talked about Vulcan returning, potential his return. Um, the Empress children, of course, if they return in 10th edition with Fulgrim, that's, again, that's, that, that, that is a big thing because then you're having another loyalist return and then you're having another demon Primarch return. Also, of course, apparently in this edition, 9th edition, Angron's returning. So it seems like there's a lot of stuff happening at the back end of 9th and 
around the start of 10th. A lot of, lot of stuff. If this does happen, potentially 10th edition could be one of the biggest additions that we ever get in terms of new models just imagine back end of night you get angron then at the start of 10th they launch it maybe with a loyalist primark coming back vulcan the lion jagatai rogel dawn just name all the bloody loyalist ones at this moment in time and then of course like halfway through or maybe to the end of it again they bring back another demonic primark um or should i say they bring back the empress children with fulgrim leading um his sons that is massive it's huge in terms of model releases and that brings us on to the next subject the empress children and models because this is probably again one of the biggest things that people want is new models we we're like we're already seeing it now we're already talking about it now with the worldies what they're going to be getting new berserkers is going to be new terminators what else is it going to be new hqs new characters this is the exactly the same thing that we're going to be talking about with the empress children Empress Children, um, New Lucius is 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 probably a given. I know his model is very very old. Technically, we've just got a New Lucius uh, model with uh, Warhammer Thirty Thousand. He's not Lucius the Eternal yet. He's just a little Scarface Lucius. Eidolon is another character they could add to the uh, inventory of the Empress Children. That big dick of a person. Um, of course, Fulgrim Primark model. Why 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 are we only talking about Fulgrim as a Primark model? How beautiful would the Fulgrim Snake Primark model be? If I want to see anything done, it would be a Fulgrim model in his full demonic form. I want to see that snake body. I want to see his arms and his swords and his his armor and his face and just and just see what type of pose they do. I'm sure it will be one of the most beautiful models that Games Workshop has ever made. Um, I know the Mortari model, when they made that, that, I think that was like the best-selling model for like two, three years in a row. And I keep going back to this subject, and I'm sorry if I'm boring you with it. The reason why Primarchs are probably going to be coming back in 10th edition, at the end of 9th edition, in the future releases in 40k, is because they make a lot of money for Games Workshop as a company. And Games Workshop as a company love your money but anyway enough of that let's get back to talking models because noise marines is on everyone's lips i'm sure everyone's been waiting for me to say noise marines um if, actually if you actually go over to the games workshop website right now it's actually quite a shame when you try to look for empress children models because there's basically none there um, <laughs> they even got their own tab over on the games workshop website that's how few models they have so you know making noise marines amazing again giving them brand new scopes just just adding new models i'm sure we're going to see new characters definitely see new characters um and new lords um probably like cultists and stuff to do with uh, uh slanesh which makes the empress children more powerful like terminators everything like that i'm trying to look at the um the death guard and the thousand sons their ranges and trying to imagine what it could get then for slanesh and the empress children so basing it off what they've got and then you know just doing it their own way which makes them different but also gives them the same type of power and unique structure um, from their armies i think the biggest thing to take from this video even though we've just basically theorized on models and you know fulgrim and the, you know the law the rumors whatever is that no matter what the empress children are going to be coming they're going to be coming at some point it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when is it going to be 10th edition i hope so fingers crossed it is 10th edition could be 11th edition you know it could be um six years well i'll say six years like seven years away but no matter what the empress children will finally get their day in the sun because now they have done the three of the big ones or they planted the third one which is of course uh, the world eaters which we keep going back to in this video because i'm so excited for them so no matter what you will get your love eventually with those boils it's just a matter of 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 when now brothers and just bask and enjoy it because i'm sure sooner or later you'll have your fulgrim you'll have your lucius um you'll you'll have all your silneshi things on the table and you will be loving life all right chaprunios thank you for coming thank you for watching as always um give me your thoughts and feedback as we normally do down below in the comment section what do you think about the emperor children what units do you think they would get do you think fulgrim would return with the Empress Children, with their Codex. Um, what units would you like? Would you like a new Lucius? You know, would you like all these characters that we've mentioned? Post it down below, and we can have a nice little talk down there, as we always do. See you now, have a great day, and bye bye